Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while, been emotional. Um, it's just me on the bank today. Uh, I'm down at Burners Hall Fishery for uh, 48 hours. Um, hope to get on the uh, rares, but that was a rat run. As soon as, as soon as they got on here, there was buckets everywhere, all, all in swims and that. And the only sort of spot there was available was just there's weed coming out of the water. So I didn't fancy that at all. So I've, I've come down to the meadow lake which apparently has got a good good head of 20s and uh, a few 30s in here as well so that's better than nothing we can't I've come a long way a couple of hours uh, to get here today so you know I'll just take anything at the minute but I've just uh, wasn't really gonna feel but I thought I'd see how I got on you know if there was you know they've just spawned in here as well so I was just sort of humming and hollering whether that would actually do a bite but I've just had my first fish as well, so I'll stick a picture in after this clip. 18 pound common. Um, I've had a few liners and stuff, so I'm on them. So I decided to then obviously start filming. So yeah. Anyway, sorry it's been such a such a long time since the last we last done a video. Troy's not with us today. Uh, he's at work. He couldn't get no time off, so I've had to book a few days off just to sort of come down and actually have a bit have a bit of time on the bank. So yeah get back to you hopefully with another fish soon tell you what there's some fucking racket going on up here there's a roller that keeps going up and down them lot of putting crush down doing the road obviously it's a week day anyway but I've got a bait literally literally to that um, little you know little bit of bush sticking up there and obviously <laughs> You couldn't ride it, you couldn't ride it. Just relax on the bitch here. And uh, another one fell to the old Miracle Berry, so I'll spot a vein. Have a little, little look at this. A bit lively. But she goes 18 pounds, lovely little mirror. There you are, <clears throat> it's about five o'clock now, so got the old uh, butcher's burgers and the bacon on the go. Go nice and go in a nice fresh roll. That mirror, I was just down to my left in that bay. I had a few fish showing down there earlier, so I just put a little bit of um, I just put a little bit of a uh, mill particle in there from Spotted Fin, about a kilo of catalyst boilies, all chopped up, holes and halves. And um, yeah, just mixed it all up with a few pellet and uh, stuck it in a bag, and that's what they seem to like. So that's done me two bites so far. So to be fair, I know I said I shouldn't have been on the res, but the bailiff come round has been proper sound. To be fair, he come round and apologised and everything. So to be fair, I'm not that bothered now I'm catching. So hopefully they get a bit bigger because I could have caught them at home. But we'll uh, we'll see we'll see what the session brings. And, I'm hopeful for another couple of bites today actually to be fair now now they've stopped doing that road um, but yeah i'll catch up with you in a bit uh, all fed all baited up got one down just in that bay there where that hint that wind's back hacking in been told that's one of the deepest parts of the lake i've been told that post there is a good spot and I've got one, the one that's done the bites, is over in this bay where the wind's hacking in. So I've all baited up. This is what I'm using. So this is what I'm using as PVA friend. This is the old uh, spotted fin. This is the milled particle. This is catalyst flavour. I've got pellet in there. I've got body crumb chopped up and whole boilies in there, like I said earlier. That's all catalyst. So as soon as I open that tub up, that stink. And that's, so honestly, I wish you could smell it. It smells lovely. So yeah, but I'm all uh, spotted finned up to the eyeballs. So hopefully the night will bring us a few bites. So yeah, but we're getting ready for shutdown. So 
catch up with you if we get anything through the night. Nice wake up call. Fell to the high fears. I was told last night that they like yellow baits in here. So put this out. Lovely 26 pound mirror. So yeah, it's what we want. It's what we come here for. Nice fish. It's done them really, isn't it? But let's get this one back, get a bait out quickly because they're obviously on the spot. Do well. Go on. There we go. See you another day. So I've just pulled, been pulled over to the uh, res. Jack's just had a new PB. What it go, Jack? Twenty-five pound. Yes. Look at him. He's happy. Kid in a sweet shop. So yeah, let's get this one back so you can get your rods back out. And it's unfortunately, there's no water in your bucket, so. Fuck off. <laughs> There we go. Lovely sight. We get up there, Gissy. Well, that was a bit of excitement. What done the bite that time was these bad boys. The high vis miracle berry wafters that uh sorry, classic corn wafters. They're absolutely bang and they're really bright, which is what we need really in here. Nice and yellow. So I'm covered in fish, fish slime now. But yeah, all the rods are in because I went and took a picture of Jack's fish. So I will get them back out on the same spots. Probably put a bit more bait in now I've had a fish. Um, and I think the swans have been over there pigging out while I've been gone as well. So put some more bait out on the areas and uh, I've seen a few fish boshing, literally right at the end of the island so I'm gonna try and reach him with a bag on it if that's a bit you know too lively I might just spawn to them but it depends how deep it is I don't want to if they're boshing over there I don't want to spawn to a load of you know crashing fish if if they're um if that's shallow because they'll soon be out of there they'll be gone but I'll have I'll have a yeah uh, mooch about and see but yeah I'll catch up with you shortly well bit of a change of scenery as you can see, we're on the res now. I had a lad come round to me this morning. He was like, he's like, um, asked me if I had much, and he was like, oh, we've booked it for a social, but no one said anything. But luckily, there was a spot here next to me on Mate Jack who I came with. So just put probably about 20 spawns out and put all three rods on one spawn on one spot just for the. You know, just for the rest of the session because we've only got the rest of today and tomorrow morning so see what happens just gonna watch the water for a little while and see if i can see anything up in the layers because the sun's come out now so it might be worth getting the zigs out but it's all sort of like a bit of a learning curve this place to me so we'll see what happens but yeah i just thought i'd update you well it's now half eight i've just uh put tons of bait out, not really much, many fish, no one's been doing any fish so last night here so I just put out pretty much the rest of the bait I've got, I've got tons of it so hopefully then uh, that will draw them in a bit but I haven't really updated you anymore through the day because it's pointless because it's not really anything to film rather than just boring you with crap, b-roll, the rest of it so uh, uh, yeah, I've uh, Earlier on, I see my right hand rod just sort of like past. You can probably see it in the camera here, but there's a weed bed here. Just the other side of that weed bed, uh, I see a fish show. That looked like quite a decent fish, and that's the first show I've seen since well, all day. So I um, put a lead through there, and that's just weed. So I've gone back a little bit because I can't get near it. Um, with anything else, that weed's quite bad in there, so I'm fishing just off the back of the weed bed, but that's sort of out of the way a bit. My neighbour said he don't mind me putting a bait there, so he's good. And then the other the other two rods, all I done was aimed at this, where I, this uh, whatever that is. <laughs> um, gone straight out, 20 wraps, maximum distance, and I've just hammered bait either side of it. And put, one either, either side of my marker float, so nice clear spot out there. Like to silt, but 
the wind's got up as well, you can probably hear it, so I do apologise, but it's coming in here fairly sharpish, so I want to make sure everything's tied down properly in case I get up any more in the night, but for now, I'm going to make sure everything's secure. Uh, I'll leave first thing in the morning, so is, um, all I'll do is pack everything down and make sure everything's ready to go in the car that I'm not going to use. So that first thing, first light, if if I haven't done a bite, get up, spawn the rest of my bait up over my over my rods, and then start packing down, get ready to go. But hopefully, hopefully I'll have an update with the fish. That would be ideal, that's the ideal scenario, but yeah, catch you in a bit. Well, you join me here, I'm just down the road at the um, tackle shop, total fish and tackle. It's called, I think. Um, that's the end of the session. We uh, didn't have nothing. That northeasterly come in, and that was just absolutely freezing cold. Um, and I don't think anyone actually done a bite last night. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage one at the race. But at least I didn't, you know, go home. I'm not going home empty-handed. Um, I forgot my clothes, so I had to nip down to total total tackle to get some clothes to change into, and quickly, uh, quickly. Uh, have a little wash in it, wash in the sink, out of the sink, if you know what I mean. But I, um, yeah, so thanks to them guys, you know, for, you know, great service and all of that. So anyway, I've got to go to pick the missus up now from Hainault Station. And then I've got a long old drive home. So I'm going to hit the road. But yeah, thanks for watching anyway. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully next time we go, we'll, we'll be able to bag a banger for you. But all the elements was against us to this session, so I think it just wasn't meant to be, but hey-ho, see ya, see you in the next one.